Okay, so there are a few things that you're going to need. Um, you're going to need a brush to take out any knots that you have. You're going to need something to tie your hair to keep it out of the way. So anything to section off the hair. Um, you're going to need a heat protectant spray. That's very important. Um, and you're going to need a good flat iron. And then optional, what I use, because my hair is on the dry side, um, yeah. what I use because my hair is on the dry side is this olive oil sheen spray. And this is the one that I like the best. It basically is for dry, thirsty hair, and you don't need to put that much in. And, um, yeah, that's all you're going to need. I haven't even started, I'm already hot. Okay, so what you're going to need to do first is section off your hair. I like to start from the bottom, so I take about like an inch from the bottom of the hair. Um, and a guideline would be to start, I guess, kind of where this part of the ear starts. So you just kind of take your fingers, or you could take, of course, like a comb and do it. But I just use my fingers because it doesn't need to be even. And um, I go across and I section off this piece. Okay. Then I tie, it's probably going to look silly, the rest of the hair out of the way. So I'll turn to kind of give you an idea of how much you're taking out. So you can see it's only this much. It's not a lot. Okay, so what you're going to do um, is spray some heat protecting spray on it. I don't want to put too much, but I do want to concentrate it a bit more on the ends because that's the driest part of the hair. You're just going to take a brush, comb whatever you're using, and take out your knots. This looks like that. Now I'm going to take sections that are about this big, so I don't know, maybe like around an inch or so, and um, you can move this to the side or I sometimes just, you know, put it in my bun, but I can move it to the side for now. Okay, so what I do is I start from the bottom of the hair first. Because I find if you start from the top, the ends end up getting dry and frizzy and they don't stay really straight. So when I start from the bottom, the ends are always softer that way. So you can kind of comb it. I comb it to cut it. I comb it and hold it so it's kind of straight, holding the strand top, taut. Take it. I start about maybe three inches or so from the bottom, it depends. And I take my time going down slowly. You can kind of see the smoke coming off my hair. <sighs> um, yeah, so see that's the bottom. I might do it maybe another time, run the bottom piece through the iron. Then I go up to the top. And I just run the flat iron slowly. And once I do this maybe like once or twice on the top, I end up just dividing that piece, getting some of it out the way, and just going in to make sure that it does come out really straight. You can see like that. Then I'm going to take this piece. Let it cool down a little bit because it's going to be kind of hot. Then just go over any of the parts that might be a little bit frizzy. Okay, so I leave that alone, it's good for now. And I find when my ends are kind of dry and split, and I try to straighten my hair, it sort of messes up the rest of the strands. I don't know, it just makes it frizzier, so I'd rather cut 
a little bit of the ends off before I flat iron it um, so that the strands are smoother. There is a big difference. So I just turn my flat iron in every which way to flat iron it as best as I can. Alright, so I did, I don't know, maybe you would consider it half, half of it, I straightened it, show you, it looks like this, pretty straight, and I'm not using a mirror, so <laughs> I can't see, alright, so you're going to continue straightening it, now, when you get to the middle part of the hair, um, what I like to do, make it kind of easier on myself, oh. is I split it down the middle. You know, it doesn't have to be super even. But I just find it easier to work with the front of my hair. What you're going to do is take a piece from the back, set it out, Then take a beat, a piece, a piece from this side as well. Then you can tie them separately or together. I'm just gonna put it together because I don't know. Yeah. So you have your two pieces over here. Hopefully, it's, you can see it. I don't know. If you can see the bottom of my hair, but. Separate it like I would with the rest of my hair into smaller sections. That makes it easier. So I'm going to work, because I'm taking the piece from the middle of my hair, I'm going to work this way. Since it's easier versus working this way where I have to put the flat iron kind of, you know, at an awkward angle. If I just work going like this, then, you know, I can hold the iron easier. Try to go slowly. That way I won't have to run the iron through my hair as much if I go slowly versus just going really quickly because it's curly so I need to take my time to straighten the strands which is why it's important also to um, comb it. Okay, so you have basically this much left. So, I have so much hair all over me. Anyhow, what I like to do is take the bottom part. So, like, I take the sides, basically. The long sideburns. I don't know if it would be long sideburns, but, yeah. I take this part and do this first. You can tell this out the way. back it's been about almost an hour now all we have is this much to do so I consider these like oh well, this is my bang kind of sort of not fully long bangs so what I do with my bang part like the big the front is I strain it by levels I'm gonna keep calling it levels it probably sounds really weird when I say that but I don't know <laughs> So I think of it. So I'm going to start in the back, separate that, and then how I get this to kind of just be out of the way, you can either do a little bit of this. Almost done, almost done. And here's a tip when you flat iron your hair going this way instead of flattening it the other way, backwards, towards the back, it ends up lifting the hair at the roots and ends up giving it volume. You'll see. Which I don't really particularly like sometimes, but most of the time, actually, I shouldn't say sometimes. Most of the time I don't actually like the volume. But I'll show you how I remedy having volume if I don't want it.
you can kind of straighten it up and just let it drop to the back it's still going to give you volume so up into the back this part's voluminous Don't worry about any crinkly parts since I don't have a mirror. I'm gonna fix that when um, I look in the mirror. This is actually kind of my bangs, pretty much. So, let's comb this hair back because it's in my way. Yeah, I have too many baby hairs in the front, so that stuff is. I'm gonna have to like flatten it and fix it and stuff like that. When I look in the mirror, now to get my hair really straight right at the root, I still section this part off because I want to really get in there. And remember, flatten up and back. Up and back. You can kind of see, I think, it's kind of fuller. Now the last part, well almost the last part because I have to do the baby hairs, but the last full strand. Oof. I almost burned myself. Unless I did. I don't know. <sighs> Got to be careful. So you can also like flat iron it to the side depending on how you want your bangs to fall but um, I just try to have my hair normally in an even position because I switch. I think I did burn myself. I haven't burned myself with a flat iron in years. So you can, you know, run the flat iron through it if you want. I know this part needs to be. Straighten badly. Oof, that hurts. So you can see my edges are kind of all crazy. But you can tell it is voluminous. I don't know. Let me go fix this. Alright, so this is the finished look. Um, yeah, it's not perfect, but. I'm going to bed, so it doesn't really matter. Um, you know, in the morning I can straighten whatever little bits aren't perfectly straight. Oh yeah, so last step, which again, it's because I have dry hair. I spray a little bit of olive oil spray. So you want to spray it far away from you, not too close, because you don't want it getting greasy. I especially make sure to spray my ends. And you do not want to use this unless your unless your um hair is dry. Um so yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this little video um of me straightening my hair. So that's it. Thanks for watching and until next time. Bye!